Hello everyone and welcome to another open broadcaster tutorial. I'm your host Wings LTD with Denali Sports and today we're going to be teaching you how to use OBS along with the now playing. For now playing I actually mean with music because that's been the number one request that I've actually gotten. So if we take a look I actually have some hotkeys set up. I'm going to double check that they work. And yes, they do. So I have hotkeys set between my first and secondary monitor. Secondary monitor is going to have OBS on it. And the first monitor is going to be, of course, my main monitor. What we're going to do today is show you a few plugins that will be of great use to you for doing a now playing option for OBS. So you can actually have your music on stream and have it look nice and clean. So while we get started, we're actually going to be using one of my friends plugins that is written for OBS known as Twobbler. If I double click this link here, it will open up the website which will be provided in the links below the YouTube video in order to get this working. Now all you have to do to first get Twobbler is download Twobbler and also the latest Adobe Air runtime which is at this moment in time 3.8. After we have the Adobe Air downloaded, we'll open up the installer, which will take a few minutes to open as I am impatient, but that's all right. We can close out of this, and we will have that updated here in just a few seconds, as you can see. There we go. It's finished. It will download a zip file known as Twobbler. Simply extract that with 7-Zip or your favorite archiving program to a folder and open it. Now we have this cool little thing right here called Twobbler. And I can run this version now. And it will open over here on the right hand side. And what Twobbler does is it brings information from your last FM user profile and brings it over here to the right on a now playing list, which you can choose to on or off depending on if you want it live or not. In order for this to work with most people, you have to either download some Scrobbling plugins for Winamp or you can do one for Chrome. Seeing how I usually use YouTube videos to build playlists, I'm just going to use the version that is for Google Chrome and show you from there. If you would like more information about how to set it up with different programs on this website here that is by Deja Vu, you can actually take a look and there's two ways to set this up. And his videos go over some very in-depth tutorials on how to actually set these up with different music streaming services, etc., etc. But I'm going to just go over Chrome because that is easiest and what a lot of people use. So as you can see, I clicked on a link that'll bring up the extension that you will add, which is the Scrobbler for Chrome. After you have it, all you have to do is click on the three bars over here, go down to settings, click on extensions then you can see the last FM Scrobbler first thing you need to do is allow to access file URLs and then click on options uncheck the desktop notifications because it will pop up a notification down here whenever music starts to play and you really do not want to see that whenever you're playing a game it can actually alt tab you out of smite make you go a little bit angry etc etc you can also see the supported websites here for it. Now Groove Shark and other places have this built in, but I'm going to keep all of these checked because I'm lazy and this is an easy thing for you to do. Secondary, you would like to click the Reauthenticate with Last FM button. And whenever you're logged into your account, it will ask you would you like to allow it access. Simply click yes, make sure that it's pointed to your last FM account, but a bing, but a boom, granted it permission, and now all we have to do is go to YouTube. Now I'm going to try to have this music muted so it won't uh, trigger off the copyright things whenever this is uploaded, right? So basically what you do is now all I have to do is click on a video and we simply wait a few seconds and it should update over here on Twobbler unless I broke something. Then there we go. As the music is playing, 10 seconds in, not very far behind. You can see that it is updated over here on the right. I can simply minimize Twobbler, which will bring it down to the tray. Right click it, left click on options, set how you want your text to appear. Click apply, close it. Then we'll right click it again and left click 
on open folder. Once you open the folder, you can see this link right here, which is your users, documents, and twobbler, and you'll find a now playing.txt file. If I open the file, it will go over here to my second monitor. And as you can see, it shows the artist name and title of the song as it is displayed on YouTube. Pretty cool stuff, right? Um, I do not want to save changes to that document. And now, I'm going to build up a quick scene here. Which is going to be Smite with Now Playing. And over here on uh, the main monitor, you're going to see that I'm launching Smite now. We have YouTube open in the background, etc, etc. Once this launches, I'll show you very quickly how to just build a simple scene that has the now music, uh, now playing listed on it. And you can do this with any game. It's not limited to Smite. Smite is just something that should be easy for me to launch, that is quick, that for some reason is not actually opening quickly, so I apologize. You can see it's going to take its uh, sweet time today to load. Not a problem. We'll close out of all of this. As you know, this part at least works now. And once the game finally decides to load, I'll show you how the now playing works. There we go. I'll log in. And now it is time to build our scene. We're going to add a game capture. We're going to call it Smite. We scroll down here, there's Smite, stretch the image to the screen, and click on OK. We're now going to hit the preview stream button so you can take a look and see how uh, this would look on the monitor. And now you want to add your now playing. So you would like to right click, left click on add text, now playing, OK. And now you can choose your font and everything else, but we want to first select use text file and we'll click on the documents folder, scroll down to where you see T's, Twobbler, and now playing.txt. As you can see here, there is no scroll speed built in. If you would like to scroll, I recommend setting it at a 10 for the scrolling speed. That's something that's nice and easy. You can bold, italicize your font, whatever you like, in all honesty, and then hit OK. As you can see, it starts up here at the top. Now I can simply resize this up and down all around. Move it down here to the bottom. Let's say I want to make it where it lines up flush with this right here. Though it's not practical whenever I'm in a game. It's something that will be pretty easy to do for right this second. As you can see, it looks a little bit too large. Font size, let's go with 20. 20 is still a bit small, 48 was too large, let's go with 30. 30 seems to be decent right now. It'll be pretty decent size for the stream. Though it also appears that I don't know how to resize to save my life, huh? There we go. Well, someone needs to fire me because I am bad at this. There, I can, I'm going to use the arrow keys to move this up and down all around. Or even for hilarity purposes. Let's put that right there. Okay, but as you can see, you have scrolling text. If I was to start streaming right now, boom, the text would be there at that exact same size. I would be doing a 1080p stream, so it would actually be pretty huge. Alright, but that's basically it. We can come back over here to the first monitor select a different song as you can see now we're on summer calling go back to secondary monitor and boom it's already started six seconds in there so it updates very fast as you can see I can change how the brackets and everything look by coming back over here to the first monitor but a bing but a boom right click options let's say you don't want the vertical lines you like the square brackets and you like the huge dash all right apply it and then but a bing, but a boom, hustler. It's already done. You have the brackets over there on the scrolling text. You have your hyphen dashes. You already applied it. You are good to go. That is basically all you need to do 
to get some scrolling text there that shows what you're listening to. Now there's more advanced things you can do with this text and I'll make some tutorials for that later that show you how to make it blend in better, make a little overlay for your text, things of that nature. But as far as a nice little setup on how it should be to get your stream going with some music and actually have the text displaying there properly, there you go. If you want the in-depth tutorial, remember, all you really have to do is come over here to the website for Deja Vu where it has Twobbler up. Watch this first video. It shows you how to do it with every music service, Winamp, etc., etc., and then just slap it on into OBS as that text file, and that's all she wrote. It's nice, quick, and simple. It's the best plugin that I feel is out there that is available for OBS. And I mean, come on, guys. You can see it. It takes like maybe five minutes to set up, and then you're good to go, and you don't have to worry about it breaking. Whenever you restart your computer, just come back, launch Twobbler from the desktop, and you're done. Hassle free. I've never had it crash. I've never had any problems with it whatsoever. So if you guys liked this video that was very simple on building up a scene that shows you now playing text for music, make sure you like it, leave a comment, I'll get back to you with whatever questions you may have, and also, if you like these videos, feel free to subscribe, you'll get notified whenever I make more tutorials. Until next time, folks, this has been Wings LTD with the Nile Esports, signing off.